In a speech delivered recently on future-proofing the Indian financial system, Reserve Bank of India Governor Shaktikanta Das stressed the need for bank managements and their boards to remain prepared for shocks even from unassuming quarters. This risk is reflected in recent events in the banking landscape of the US and Europe, and measures should be taken to ensure stronger capital and liquidity buffers beyond regulatory minimums in order to maintain long-term financial resilience. RBI is monitoring banks' business models more closely than ever in order to ward off any potential risk and manage their outcomes, and Indian banks have shown more stability and resilience in the medium term despite the gross non-performing assets ratio and the capital adequacy ratio CRAR being lower than the March 2021 numbers. However, the liquidity crunch is seen as a potential source of crisis and is being monitored closely by RBI. Cyber risk was listed as the foremost risk of 2023 in a global survey of financial institutions and banks must have the capability to deliver critical services even in cases of cyber attacks as well as other disruptions. Banks and other regulated entities also need effective policies and practices in place for the extensive outsourcing being done. It is essential for organizations to have both operational resilience and organization resilience in order to anticipate risks early, absorb them efficiently, and protect the balance sheet. This is why the Reserve Bank of India Governor Shaktikanta Das is stressing the importance of bank managements and their boards to remain prepared for potential risks, while also encouraging strong capital and liquidity backup, monitoring business models closely and having effective policies in place. Protecting financial stability and resilience is key to a secure and successful future.